Kevin here again with CountryGuitarOnline.com and in today's lesson we're going to work on some Jimmy Rogers style rhythm guitar. We'll start out taking a look at a strumming pattern that has a hint of Texas swing to it. It's got kind of a boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck type of feel. Um, going to give you all some really good tips on how to make that strumming pattern sound right and we'll practice this strumming pattern over some chord progressions in the style of Jimmy Rogers. And at the same time, I'll show you all some bass line walks that you can add to these chord progressions to make them sound a little fancier. Also gonna show you all a couple of guitar riffs in the style of Jimmy Rogers. This is probably my favorite part of the lesson. These guitar riffs, they'll bring in some of that sound um, of Jimmy Rogers yodeling, you know yodel lay he who type of stuff. I'm not a very good yodeler, so I like to play the sound on my acoustic guitar to capture the overall sound of Jimmy Rogers. So let's go ahead and get to it, and we'll take a look at the strumming pattern first, and we'll go from there. Like I mentioned earlier, the main strumming pattern that we'll use today has kind of a Texas swing feel to it. So here's a quick example of what we're working towards. All around the water tank, waiting for a train. A thousand miles away from home, sleeping in the rain. I walked up to a brakeman, so you get the idea here. Boom, chuck, boom. So let's practice this boom chuck, Jimmy Rogers style strumming and practice it over the C7 chord for starters. After we practice the strumming over the C7 chord for a little bit, and after I give you all some good strumming tips, then I'll show you all a chord progression that you can use for practicing this strumming. Uh, this chord progression is going to be borrowed from Jimmy Rogers' famous song, Waiting for a Train. I'll also show you all a nice little intro riff and those guitar riffs that have the yodeling, and then we'll piece everything together so you can practice along with Waiting for a Train. But for now, let's practice this strumming over the C7 chord. I'm going to focus on that right hand right now, the strumming hand. We're doing all downstrokes for this. And pretty simple pattern with the right hand. It's pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, strum. It's over and over. Pick, strum, 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 pick, strum. If you can tell there too, we're also using an alternating bass line. For those bass line picks, pick, 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 still holding the C7 chord. And for the C7 chord, we'll, we'll alternate between the fifth string, fourth string, fifth string, fourth string. Then you just add the down strums in between those bass line notes. Pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, strum, pick, strum. The alternating bass line picks will change a little bit depending on the chord we're playing. And I'll show you all uh, the bass line notes a little bit here later once we start changing chords. But for now, let's just stick to the C7 chord. And um, real quick, let's also talk about where to position your strumming hand over the strings when you're doing this boom chuck strumming. So if you take a look at Jimmy Rogers when he's doing this, um, there, there's some YouTube videos out there. You can see him doing this boom chuck strumming. He does it way up here, almost over the fretboard even, as opposed to down here near the saddle. Near the saddle, you get a little bit more of a twangy sound. Up here, where he's doing it, it's a little smoother sound. I don't like to do it quite as far up as he does. I like to do my boom chuck strumming right here, still over the sound hole, but 
kind of closer towards the fretboard. So experiment with the positioning here a little bit on your own. See what you think sounds good and find that sweet spot for your guitar. So down here, you know, near the saddle, this is where, uh, when, where you get that twangy sound. This is where I do most of my flat picking lead guitar licks. your sound that sound cuts through a mix really well for lead guitar but what for this boom chuck stuff right here um, sounds a lot smoother to do it closer to the fretboard so there's one little tip for how to get this Texas swing boom chuck boom chuck and get that strumming sounding right and uh, one other tip for this particular song I want to talk about it's the left hand or whatever hand you're using to fret the chord. So when we're doing this boom chuck strumming, there are some different ways to do it. And it all depends on the song that you're playing, you know, how you want to do this. But sometimes you can left it there. 